Hi guys, I've shortened this video quite considerably and taken out a lot of the detail simply because the end result was pretty disappointing for the amount of effort I put into it and I don't really see any benefit in you trying to copy what I've done. I've got some of these cheap pump action dynamo torches that I want to try and make a, well, I was going to say clockwork or spring driven car from. This one I've already opened. My plan is not to use the electronics in it at all. I just want to use the spring that's under the lever to drive a car. Plan is push that down, let it go, and the car drives forwards. As that goes down, you can probably more or less see it. There's a toothed um, arm there. That turns a gear wheel that's in there, which turns is connected to a bigger gear wheel, which spins the dynamo effect in there. And what I want to try and do is connect the dynamo effect part of it to the axle of my car. Not quite sure I'm going to do it, I've just had this theory that I should be able to do it. What interests me is it's got a ratchet effect, so it keeps rolling after you've released the, what if we want to call this, pump. That's assembled, so we've got the ratchet bit is now outside. To mount our assembly I'm going to use one of my old faithful rubber band powered car chassis. I've made that good tight fit so I can adjust it if necessary. Now I'll just hot glue this in position. Test run time then. it up and let it go. <laughs> what have we got? Uh, about two meters. Not exactly flying up the kitchen is it? We'll give it another go and I'll chase it with the camera this time. Although it's hardly worth it because we're getting about two meters I think. If that. Just about two meters. Just one last little thing. I've just flipped it over on its back so it pulls itself instead of pushes itself and we get a very slightly better performance. The only problem is it's got a real left turn on it now because of the offset weight. So that's done that's about two and a half metres that's done, so that's a half a metre improvement, or statistically 25% improvement just by turning it upside down and going with a puller instead of a pusher. Summary time. What have we got? Uh, not a success, I would say. The idea was to try and use one of these dynamo torch mechanisms. to actually spin the wheel and give us the power supply 
and it's not really working. Well, no, it is working, it's just not very powerful. Um, I noticed that the dynamo had a ratchet effect that allowed the flywheel to freewheel after it had finished the power stroke. And I wondered whether we'd be able to use that to make the car go. Well, what's actually happening is it's not getting as far as freewheeling. It's not building up, up enough speed to begin with. So it's only going as far as the spring inside can actually push it. So, technically a success, because it is actually working in the way it was designed. It's just not powerful enough to give us a decent run. Two metres if we're lucky. It might go a bit further if I lightened things, made the chassis smaller, maybe even used smaller wheels on the front to reduce the weight a bit, so I had a chance to get going. But as it is, I can't recommend this as a power unit. But it was worth trying just to find out.